Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. You probably heard tons of people talking about it, but did you know that practicing gratitude has real physiological and psychological benefits? If you didn't know, we're going to talk about it right now because I'm about to give you some secrets. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I am your host, licensed marriage and family therapist, Keandra Jackson. Now, let's talk about gratitude. There's so many things that I could break down in this video, but I want to give you guys three major components that you can start implementing today because I want you to be your happiest and healthiest self. And before we get into it, put in the comment section below, let me know how you practice gratitude or if you do, or if you don't, but let me know in the comment section what you think about gratitude. The first thing is that gratitude is powerful. Expressing gratitude not only impacts your overall well being, but it really impacts your mental health as well. You can have increased mood, you can also decrease your stress, and so much more. The dopest part about this is that science backed this up. There's a study that says expressing gratitude increases the activity in your prefrontal cortex. This is literally the region of your brain that impacts decision making and emotional processing. Studies have also shown that gratitude increases happiness and satisfaction. Studies have also shown that expressing gratitude decreases the level of cortisol in your body, which is the stress hormone. And studies have also shown, this is for y'all people who have trouble sleeping, that expressing gratitude impacts your quality of sleep and the duration too. So for the people who can't stay asleep long or fall asleep, <laughs> this is for you. You need some gratitude in your life. The second thing I want to talk to you guys about is cultivating a gratitude mindset because we know the power of it because we just talked about it. But how do we cultivate this thing in our lives when things are going crazy and life is lifing and things and life has been throwing you curveballs and things is just a little ghetto as we like to say. What do you do when you need to practice gratitude and create that mindset because you know it's going to have benefit? Well, the main way that I like to do this is to shift my perspective. So instead of thinking about all of the million quadrillion things that are going wrong in my life, that is not working out the way that it's supposed to, shift your perspective from what's going wrong, what's lacking, to what you do have and what is going well. Essentially, you're just being present enough to see all of the blessings that are around you. I was reading a post on Instagram the other day and it said that setbacks really help you with growth and challenges actually help you with resilience. So when we think about all of the things and the negative things that are going on in our life, if we switch that perspective to what's going well, what is going right, what are some things that I'm blessed to have that other people may or may not have, and then we start to increase that gratitude because you know that's what we're trying to do. I think the hardest part about cultivating a gratitude mindset is understanding that there are a million and one things that are truly outside of our control. I mean... We only can control what we can control and everything else is up to God, right? So when we think about all of the curveballs, the negative things, the recession, COVID, all of these things that are happening in our lives that are completely outside of our control, we have to find out the things that we do have control over because the only thing that we can really control, y'all, is ourselves. So even though situations may be tough and they may be challenging and you've had some setbacks, how are you responding to those things? Are you responding negatively and fueling it and making it blow up in flames and making it worse? Or are you saying, okay, this is a minor setback or even a major setback, but this is just temporary. I'm going to keep a positive mindset. Things are going to get better. It won't always be like this. Are you cultivating that gratitude and those that positive energy? So essentially, I want you to reframe all of the negative things as opportunities for growth. I want you to acknowledge the small blessings that are in your life. And I also want you to practice surrounding yourself with positive influences, whether that is people or things. And as we are talking about surrounding yourself with people, I want to move on to the third thing, which is gratitude in relationships. I know sometimes we think of gratitude as something that is internal, something that we have to, you know, do within ourselves and all of those things. But trust and believe there are some external factors to gratitude that we have to pay a little bit more attention to. So expressing gratitude 
can create a more positive environment for you and can strengthen the connections that you have with other people. So these are very simple things, but I think we need to nurture those so it can become a habit in our lives. Meaningful ways to cultivate gratitude in your relationships are like just small verbal affirmations to other people, handwritten notes, expressing and doing acts of kindness for other people. These are all ways that we can cultivate gratitude in our relationships with others. And trust and believe that doing acts of kindness and expressing gratitude and those verbal uh, affirmations and those handwritten notes or buying somebody a little gift or sending them a quick text message, those things go a long way. I have said this a million and one times, but you never truly know what someone else is going through. And so those little acts behind the scenes that no one knows about go a long way when someone is down and out, when they're depressed, when they're sad, when they're feeling overwhelmed, just to know that someone else is thinking about them really does feel good. So if you can be that light and if you can shine a little brighter in someone's life, why not? So I'm going to give you guys my final thoughts on this because it's a wrap. So look, gratitude is something that I know a lot of people have heard about. Y'all probably seen a whole bunch of YouTube videos about it as well. But I know for me, knowing the power of gratitude, cultivating gratitude and expressing gratitude in my relationships has been a game changer for me personally. I think we just need to stay in a space of being more positive, being more uplifting, even when things are going around us that are crazy, that are chaotic, when we don't know things are gonna shift or change, and it's just been a lot on your shoulders. Instead of going through the woe is me, my life is horrible, things are never gonna get better, this sucks. You can have those little small moments because those are real. I mean, I've had some moments too where I was breaking down and crying. I, I let myself feel what I need to feel, right? And then I get my behind up <laughs> and I say, you know what, God, things didn't work out the way it is, but I still got food on my table. I still got a business to take care of. I still have a roof over my head. I still have people who love me. I still have some income. Like whatever your issue is, you need to focus on the things that you do have and focus on the things that are in your control because you can control you. You can control your thoughts and you can control your feelings. So thank you so much for watching another episode of the Keandra Jackson Show. I hope some that I said was helpful. If so, please make sure to share this with someone. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode.